Hello again, and thank you for watching this video. This is an honest review of the Neat Cell Picosecond Laser Pen Tattoo Remover. This is the second and third session that I've done. So let's get started. I first want to apologize for the delay. My first video was back in May. It is now September. And I just wanted to briefly explain why there was a delay. Obviously, uh, COVID has caused problems for everyone's life and mine included. So there were some delays regarding COVID. Uh, I didn't catch COVID or no one in my family caught COVID, uh, but it just delayed a lot of things and it made life a little bit stressful. Uh, work also became very busy and that was impacted by COVID. But the main reason why I wanted to delay this second video was because number one, I thought that I was developing scars. So I wanted to take a longer break between the first session and the second session. And I also wanted to show more progress. So instead of showing just the second month and then wait a month and then show the third month, I wanted to show the second and third month for this video. So sorry for the delay. Hopefully this video will better inform you about your decision to purchase the picosecond pen or to not purchase it or to continue or not continue. So hopefully I will help you with that decision making process. I wanted to start this video by talking about picosecond. What is a picosecond? I actually didn't know. And I'm going to admit that upfront that I started this treatment. Actually, I started the tattoo removal process several years ago, professionally, as I mentioned in my previous videos, I went to a doctor in uh, Beverly Hills, Dr. Tadoff, he's no longer there. That's discussed in another video. And he used a picosecond pen, I didn't know that at the time, uh, to remove two smaller tattoos that I had. I'm very happy with the results, regardless of what the stories are with uh, this guy. I'm happy with the results and I'm glad that I did it. So what is a picosecond? A picosecond is a unit of time, which I'm sure uh, most of you have figured that out, but it's equal to one trillionth of a second. That is amazingly fast. So this is another way to look at it. A picosecond is to one second, as one second is to approximately 31,689 years. That's how fast a picosecond is. So if you think about it, these lasers are supposed to be zapping your skin one trillionth of a second. Now, I had some doubts as to whether this was actually happening in the pen. And so I did a little bit of research and I actually found a video that I'm going to show you soon. But basically what I want to talk about in this video mainly is, is neat cell safe and does it work? I know a lot of you are asking that same question. There are a lot of videos on YouTube right now that are showing supposedly the use of this picosecond pen. I'm going to say quote unquote picosecond pen. You'll find out in a moment why. And the results vary. As I said in my previous video, I saw a lot of videos where people were scarring and I really didn't want to scar. Everyone was using the blue laser pen. And so that's why I chose the red laser pen. But the interesting video that I found or the most interesting video that I found was a video by a YouTuber named Styro Pyro. This guy is great. If you're interested in lasers, then please go to this guy's website. It's really interesting. But he does a video about lasers that are used for at-home beauty care. So for example, removing acne or removing scars or freckles. So he bought a couple of these lasers off of eBay and he tried them out. And one of them happened to be the Neat Cell pen. So I watched the video and actually I'm going to play you a short segment. Um, so a shout out to Styro Pyro. I'm just showing a little bit of his video just to give you the warning that he gave you because maybe some of you are not watching this video or you haven't watched this video. And I think it's really important to take into consideration 
the opinion of a person who understands lasers and who uses lasers. So let's watch this video. It's just about two minutes, maybe two and a half minutes long, but it's entertaining. Uh, like I said, the guy is great. Um, he's really funny. And I think that we should all at least listen and consider his warning. So here it is now. All right, let's start with this one. This is the Neat Cell Spot Removal Laser, which is an apparently an amazing all-in-one cosmetic device. This thing can apparently remove moles, tattoos, freckles, warts, and pretty much any blemish you can think of, and all for only $40. Wow, what a deal! Now, is this thing actually legit, or is it just the LED equivalent of essential oils? Well, one way to find out. Well, here goes nothing. Oh no, no. Okay, this is one of the worst ideas I've ever seen make it into a commercial product. Like, where do I even start? This thing is just a powerful blue laser diode jammed in a pen style casing, which honestly isn't even that much different than many of the lasers I've shown on this channel. But using this as a cosmetic device, there are so many issues with that. Let's start with the laser's color. Blue light tends to be strongly absorbed by skin, which means you end up dumping most of the laser's power into healthy skin tissue. This is a big problem, as the whole idea is to not destroy your skin as you target an unwanted blemish like a tattoo. It's not like this thing is weak, either. It clearly packs a lot of power. It can easily light matches, as well as burn a bunch of other materials. I can't imagine how awful it would feel trying to laser off an entire tattoo with something like this. Best case scenario, you replace the tattoo with a horrific scar. Worst case scenario, well, there's a lot of worst case scenarios here. As usual with powerful lasers, the real risk is instant, permanent blindness. In fact, let's test the average output power with my laser power meter by Gentech EO. Okay, so uh, a little under a watt. That puts it in the highest laser danger category there is, which means just looking at the spot on your skin can burn your eyes out without goggles. This thing is advertised to treat basically everything, including common facial blemishes like acne and freckles. Pointing this thing at your face is just asking to go blind, and that's ignoring the fact that this thing would likely give horrible scars on your face as well. Oh yeah, one more thing. Why is the laser flashing like that? Well, it turns out that pulse lasers are preferred for a lot of dermatology treatments, as it allows a target to be destroyed faster than the heat produced can diffuse out and damage other tissues. However, there's one problem with that. The listing claims that the laser can do picosecond pulses, which would be an incredible feat for a laser of this size. It turns out, though, that the pulses are a little over a tenth of a second, which is not only too slow to make much of an effect here, but it also means that the seller's claim is off by a factor of over 100 billion. If you know anybody with one of these or something similar, please tell them to get rid of it immediately. This product is alarmingly popular and has serious potential to cause permanent injury. For the record, there are similar products out there with different names, and some versions use a near-IR laser instead of a blue one. These are all likely to be just as awful as the one I tested. None of these gadgets are safe, but the real loser in this bunch is the Need Cell. This thing is an absolute disgrace. If there's any gadget that should be wiped from sites like Amazon or eBay, it's this one. Shame on whoever put this thing on the market. Okay, so I wanted to show this clip from Styro Pyro's video because I just wanted everyone to consider it. Um, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I do have some subscribers and I'm putting these videos on YouTube, which is public. Anybody can access them and there's no age restriction. Uh, so children could watch this video if they wanted to. But I felt that because of that, I have a responsibility to show both sides. And this is one side of the argument. Now, there are a lot of people, uh, probably hundreds of thousands, if not a million people who are using this laser right now. Um, and obviously I don't, or I, I'm not able to collect all of their results. But I have found some, and it looks like some people are getting scars, but it also looks like some people are not getting scars. So that leads me to my experience. Let me show you the first session. So this was on May 11th. And you can see here, as I mentioned in my first video, that I didn't really do a good job of zapping my skin, although I did follow the line you can see that there are spaces in between. This is the very first time that I used it. I wasn't, I didn't know what to expect, to be honest with you. Um, it hurt like hell. And this was the first setting. So this was supposedly the lowest setting. Although I have my doubts whether the seller is correct or not, whether one is the highest setting or nine is the highest setting. So for my second session, I did this on July 29th. And again, I waited a long time. So the first session was May 11th and the second session was July 29th because I was worried that there was an area that was beginning to scar. I'll show you that area 
now and it doesn't look like it's scarring, but the tattoo is definitely gone in that area. So it, it could either be great or later on it could turn into a scar, I'm not sure, but let me show you the pictures in a few minutes. So for the second session, I did uh, frequency two and intensity one. Now, when I zapped my skin with this um, setting, I honestly didn't feel anything. Compared to the first session, the first session hurt like hell. This second session, I didn't feel anything. During the first session, I can actually hear my skin sizzling, which was a little disconcerting. But for the second one, I didn't hear or feel anything. Now, let me show you the skin. Obviously, the laser did do some, I don't want to say damage, but it did cause some swelling. But you can see that it didn't do it as much as the first session. I don't know why. I mean, again, this thing cost me 40 bucks. So maybe it was just blasting out uh, random frequencies. I have no idea. So for the third session, I upped up the frequency to three and the intensity, I brought it up to two. And this time it was a lot more powerful. Um, I did hear some parts of my skin sizzling and it did hurt, but it didn't hurt as much as the first session. And that could be because I never experienced it. By the third session, I kind of understood what was going to happen and I was ready for it. So this is after the third session. Now, there are some spots you can't see in these pictures. I'm really sorry. I need to buy, I need to buy a more expensive camera. Uh, when I get to a thousand viewers, then I'll buy, <laughs> I'll buy an expensive camera. Uh, but you can see that there are some areas that are actually lightening. Now, let me show you a clearer picture. I took these pictures today, right now, before I filmed this video. So you can see the spots where I zapped, but you can also see some areas. Here's that area from the previous picture here. Uh, here and here, uh, the tattoos have actually been removed from these spots. Now, I don't know whether these are going to turn into scars, but for now, it just looks like my skin has returned. There's no uh, bumps. The skin in that area is not raised. It's all smooth. So maybe it's working without giving scars, which is what I was hoping would happen with the red pen. Now, again, I've seen a lot of people using the blue pen, and it looks like they're just doing it maximum power on their tattoos. So no wonder they get scars. And I warned about this in my first video. So if you have one of these blue lasers, or if you're planning on getting a blue laser, I just want you to consider starting from the very lowest setting, waiting a month or two in between sessions, and then either going up in the intensity and frequency, or even doing it once more with the same setting. This is my recommendations. I'm not a laser guy. I'm not a tattoo removal guy. I'm just a guy with tattoos who has done a lot of research and I wanna share it with you along with my thoughts. And so that's what I'm doing. Uh, so please don't mistake my advice for any kind of medical advice or anything like that. Uh, this is just advice from one guy with tattoos to another guy or girl with tattoos who wants to get rid of them. So again, this is the spot that I have seen the tattoo disappear from. So um, it is kind of exciting to see the tattoo removing uh, in certain areas. And I feel in general, uh, not the entire tattoo is lightening, but again, I do feel that there are some areas that are lightening. Now compared to that crappy boiling cream that I wasted six months of my life on, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go check out my other videos. I tried this tattoo removal cream uh, for six months. Actually, I still have about 20 of those stupid uh, <laughs> tubes of tattoo removal cream. I think I just need to throw them away. I tried selling them on eBay and nobody would buy them. Uh, but if you do want something that works, um, I still think that this pen, when used correctly, can work. Now, a lot of people have been emailing me and asking me, is this pen dangerous? Does it work? Does it hurt? Um, and I did find videos on YouTube. This is from Frederick Riley. Again, a shout out to Frederick. I'm using this uh, photo and hopefully it'll bring people over to Frederick's channel. Frederick is using the, the blue picosecond pen. I shouldn't even call it picosecond now that we know that it's not a picosecond pen. I'll just call it a laser removal pen. Uh, but he's using it, and this is his eighth session, and you can see that 
it is removing the tattoo. Now, whether his skin, uh, obviously it has this white frosting over it. Uh, this is uh, healing. What this is gonna look like after the entire process is finished and he's gotten a tan and maybe a year has gone by. I'm really curious to see those results. But for now, it doesn't look like he has any scarring and it does look like the tattoo is uh, removing. So go ahead and check out Frederick's channel if you wanna see someone using the uh, blue pen. I'm using the red pen and yeah. Do a lot of research before you decide to buy these pens and use these pens, please. So I've had a lot of people asking me questions and I just wanna answer the top three. So a lot of people have been asking me, do you think that need cell is dangerous? The whole point of these videos is to prove that need cell is dangerous or it's not dangerous. So far after three months, I would say that it's not dangerous, but I say yes, because it does have the potential to cause eye damage. It does have the potential to scar. It does have the potential to damage your skin in different ways, especially if you use it in a sensitive area, such as your face, as Styropyro said. So I'm going to say yes, but used correctly and within the uh, within staggered limits, I will say. So starting with the lowest point and waiting a month or two, and then starting with either that same level or going up to the next level, I think that the need cell pen can be used in a correct way. So for the sake of, <laughs> well, not liability, but I just wanna make sure that everyone is taking care of themselves for that sake and to protect everyone's interest and to encourage you to do more research before you buy this pen, I'm going to say that yes, I do think the need cell pens are dangerous. Am I going to continue using it? Well, yes, even though it's dangerous, I feel like I'm using it in a responsible way. I understand the potential for scars and I've accepted that risk. So if you're in that same place, then I would say, go for it, get the pen and use it responsibly. And the last question, will I switch the blue laser? To be honest with you, I don't know. I've watched Styropyro's video several times actually. And even though he recommends not using it, uh, watching a few YouTubers, a few, I'll say a few, uh, Frederick Riley is one of them. Uh, I saw maybe two other YouTubers who were using the pen and it, it looked like they were using it in a safe way. Uh, the problem is that Frederick is the only one who I saw that's actually documented eight sessions. The other ones did not. So uh, the majority of videos that I saw did show scars or scarring. So I'm not sure if I'll switch to the blue laser or not. I'm going to use the red laser a few more times and I'll see. Uh, maybe, I'll, maybe I'll buy it and use it just on the lowest setting. I'm not sure. But I certainly don't want to use it by myself. And I certainly don't want any of my friends who are going to be doing the laser on me to go blind as well. So it's a big maybe, but I'm thinking about it right now. But for now, I'm going to stay my course and do the red pen. So that's about it for this review. Again, I apologize for the delay. I really hope that these videos are helping uh, some of you decide whether you want to use this pen or not. I recommend starting with the red pen as I did. It's $40. I mean, it's really not a lot of money. And you're really making sure that you're taking care of your skin and that you're doing it safely. You can use these pens on yourself. I use them on my shoulders where my stars are. And I felt that it is safe enough. Um, I wear goggles. I do wear goggles. So make sure that if you're using the pen, you, you wear goggles. If you're using the blue pen, absolutely wear those opaque goggles that they come with and have someone do the pen for you from a safe distance just to make sure. So that's about it. You can look out for my, four, I'm sorry, fourth session. I should say fourth session, my apologies. So look out for my fourth session. This will be September 28th. I'm going to up the uh, frequency to four and I'm going to up the intensity to three. So we'll see what happens. Anyway, thank you for watching my video. I really appreciate it. I hope that it brings some knowledge to the viewers out there. And I hope that you reflect on your own tattoo removal journey and whether you want to use these pens or not. Thank you very much and I will see you at the end of September. Take care.